welcome back everyone. So this is adding my NuGet package. So if I do the same thing, so to add your NuGet package, you would you will click on project menu and click on manage NuGet package. So then you would start to add the other ones. So you would go into project and say manage NuGet package and be sure that you are also online. So now it's uninstalled. So but it's going to show all the NuGet packages that I have installed or has been installed by default for me. So but I want to add a new one. For me to add a new one, I need to click on browse. So this is going to bring the new ones for me. So I can now search for Speclo. So Speclo, this is the first one. I'm going to bring that and then I would install. So you also can install different version of this part, this Nuget packages, but we want to install the latest stable one. So which is 3178, you click on install and you click on accept to accept the lenses. So, and now I'm going to extend this. You go to see what the output and if I got any error. So it's also good practice to check if everything is fine. So as you can see now, Spectro is got this particular green tick or green like download button. So which means that it's been downloaded. As you can see, the other one hasn't got those ones. So once it's been downloaded, it's going to have that particular arrow button. So, and also you're going to see right now, it's got uninstalled. Initially we had install. So that is very important to check. So then, so that uh, with that we've done Specflow basically. So we're going to go into the other ones. So what we also need to do is the Specflow tools. Okay, uh, let's install that one. So let's search for Specflow dot tools. So. So that is let's see this one. So this I need to bring this one up. Okay, all right, so that makes sense now. So I've been able to arrange this. So we've got the this one. So I'm going to install this as version. So then I would also do the spec flow. MSS because that's what I want to also use. That is this one, so I'm going to install that one also. Then the next one, so we're going to use Selenium. So Selenium dot web driver is this one. Let's install our accept. So, and Selenium support. So, down. so 
Let's call it any, um, So this one, I only added all the browsers because we're going to need all the browsers for, for the purpose of the training. And also because we also plan to, to use cross browser. But if your project only requires one of them, you only need to add them. So most common one will be the Chrome driver anyway. So what you have is Selenium dots. So I need this to paste in this, I can see. So I need dots. I work forever. Okay, let me understand this one. So that is, yeah, that's this one. Selenium web driver, IE driver. So that's. So the same way I need Selenium Firefox. If you are going to be using Firefox, so that's that is our so the same way also I mean Selenium. Selenium web driver okay, and that should be it. So Selenium web driver, Chrome driver, okay. So that's okay. So those are the Nugget packages that uh, for a start that you need, basically, which is, should be fine. So as time goes on, you're going to be adding based on the need, but this is the standard one that you will need for your code. So as I mentioned before, you have to use full interception. If you decide to also use other Nugget packages, you would add, add them on request. Uh, or at as is it demands. 